Hey YouTube, Pacific Tac West here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the KPOS Scout by Fab Defense. First, just want to say thank you to my friends over at ZFI for sending this to me to be able to bring this range test review to you today. Let me first start off by saying what this is not going to be. This is not going to be an in-depth review of this. I will be doing a desktop review at a later date. In addition, this is not going to be a comparison of the KPOS Scout to the Micro Ronnie. I will also be doing a side-by-side -side comparison at a later date. What this will be is running a couple magazines through the KBOS Scout, which is utilizing my SBR Glock 17. Again, word of caution, if you're going to do this with your pistol, please make sure that you've received your approved tax stamp back from the ATF for the SBR pistol that you're going to put into the KBOS Scout. But, let's go ahead, put some magazines through this, run some uh, rounds on range, take a look at the target, and uh, give my overall views on the... Uh, on the KPOS Scout after that. So let's go ahead and get some shots down range. Alright, so let's go see how she did down range on the target and we'll be back. So here you have the target at about 25, 30 yards away after running two 33 round magazines through the KPOS Scout. Um, took a few shots to realize where the red dot was really holding in on this. I did take the micro I did take it off the micro Ronnie and didn't really zero it in. But once I was able to see where that red dot was going, um, KBOS Scout held its own. As you can see, the majority of the rounds pretty much took out the entire center of the target here. Um, it held its own and performed about in line is what I expected this thing to do at the range once I took it out of the box and felt how, uh, how sturdy and well-designed it appeared to be. And uh, clearly here, it didn't let me down. So let's go back and take a, a closer look at this. The KBOS Scout by Fab Defense. Thank you again to my friends at ZFI for sending this to me so I could do the range test review for you today, a future desktop review, and a side-by-side -side comparison of this to the Micro Ronnie. Purpose of this video today was a short, concise video of running some magazines through this, sending some shots down range, and showing you what this looks like on target at about 25-30 yards away. And as you can see, once I was able to see where the red dot sight was on this and got on the target, uh, this thing really did hold its own. The entire center of that target was missing after running 60 plus rounds through this gun. A um, lot of options out there for a carbine for your SBR. Didn't know what to expect with the Fab Defense, but I will say that when this arrived, took it out of the box and just kind of handled it a bit, you could really feel how solid and sturdy the design of this was, and those expectations were not let down when I brought it out to the range. Um, great design from Fab Defense. Solid uh, upgrade, I think, from the uh, the all aluminum KPOS, and especially the price point. It's about half as much as the uh, the original KPOS is, and um, I quite frankly feel that you're getting a, a bit more bang for your buck with this um, in terms of weight, the sling attachment, and everything else that comes with this out of the box, ready to go to the range, and just have a blast. Be sure to take a look at zfiinc.com. 
as an additional benefit for being a registered user on their site, you also will get a 10% discount off of the KPOS Scott as well. A uh, great option again for an SBR uh, pistol to create into a, a carbine for yourself, such as the one here today. So be sure to check back as I will be uploading the desktop review of the KPOS Scout in addition to the Micronie KPOS Scout side by side comparison. From Pacific Tac West, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and be sure to check back for future uploads.